Yesterday, some of the biggest banks in this country, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, collectively lost more than $50 billion in market value in one day. Sure system of fractional reserve banking is not made to persist. It does not, it cannot persist over time. Banking can get in a lot of trouble just because of the kind of things that they did. Some men aren't looking for anything physical inside the world like money. They can't be bought, bullied, reasoned with, or negotiated with. Some men just want to see the world suffer. Now the only problem with this is, is that we have those type of people at the top. These are what we consider as the world's handlers. Now the handlers of the world like to feed off the poor to be able to make their pockets even more fatter. They like a form of power, control. They like to mold the world exactly how they want it. But the issue comes in when they have something up their sleeve that is very big and very critical for the world to be able to know. And if you don't know these things I'm about to get ready to tell you inside of this video, you're going to be steered all the way to the left instead of the right way that you're supposed to be going. We're going to be talking about the Great Reset inside of this video, and this is going to be the part two of getting you prepared for what's about to go down. The main thing that these people don't want you to know is currency. When we look back in history, we see that there were over 3,000 currencies and none of them made it. All of the currencies fail. But when we look at our currency right now, which is the US dollar, what is exactly happening to this? Is it failing? Is it actually succeeding? Well, let's look into the details. Now, in order to understand currency, we have to first look at the banks. And when we look into the banks, we realize that they're having a lot of problems that are actually going on. A lot of people used to be able to come in and get their money however the amount was. If I went in and deposited a million dollars, well then I have a million dollars inside of my account. But now the issue is, is people are having problems with depositing their money and also getting their money out. Because we all know that the banks are not required to keep a dime anymore of your money inside of their bank. As a matter of fact, they go out and invest it as soon as you make a deposit inside of your account. Now while they're investing your money, a lot of issues are transpiring from people going to the bank and trying to be able to withdraw a big amount and the bank is telling them they don't have it anymore. When you really look into it, you see that the bank systems are now crashing. But there's a reason for this. It's all a plot to be able to make people go to the left instead of the right. We want to be the people inside of this video that's going to the right side. How do we do that? We first have to fully understand exactly what's ahead of us. Now the US dollar value is constantly going down and more and more and more. So the question is, what will be our next currency if the dollar fails? Now there's been a lot of weird things going on inside the world, like the cash shop owner that has been stabbed to death, even though he owned a very big portion of cryptocurrency. But if you look into it, you notice that a lot of cryptocurrency people that actually owned a big portion of it are now passing away. You see, this is not anonymous. This is something that is happening intentionally. But see, they want to be able to change the currency. How do we know they want to be able to actually change the currency? Well, they blankly put it inside of your face by telling you that they have fed now when you research Fed now, you realize that they're very similar to Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, a lot of these other payment processors. But the only difference is Fed now only transfers cryptocurrency. Now, Fed now is what they're going to be putting and placing and having the banks that we use our bank accounts at to be able to sign off on us to be able to use cryptocurrency. We are not going to have fully control of the situation because we can't do a single thing about it. Well, we have the check-ins account at our bank and our bank is going to tell us how to abide by their rules. So therefore, the bank is going to tell us as soon as they sign off that, hey, listen, you have to be able to do this. You can no longer use the U.S. dollar. You have to be able to use cryptocurrency. Now, I'm not a big fan of cryptocurrency, but by all means, if I have to be able to move into it, I will move and I will be able to adapt in any situation that they put me in. Now, when the bank signs off on these documents, we really don't have a choice. 
we have to abide by the rules. Either you have a bank account with money coming in or you have no bank account with no money at all. So therefore, we have to be able to do that. But the thing is, is we fully have to understand FedNow. And when you look into the research of it, you see that they're only, first of all, going to be transferring cryptocurrency. But not only that, when we're going through and we're making purchases through places like Amazon, we're making purchases through other places like Alibaba online, all these different places, they're going to be able to track exactly what you're purchasing, exactly where you're at. And it's really weird when it comes to this app. The next question is, what is your next move when it does happen? Are you going to be a person that's prepared? Or are you going to be a person that is unprepared and drastically affected? Now, I want you to be prepared from watching this video, but the way you're going to be prepared is first of all, knowing that you want to make sure you keep some money on the side and not all of it inside of your bank account, because I want to let you know they can decide to just shut it off with one click and now all your money is gone. We've seen banks already collapse over $80 billion inside of that one bank and nobody was able to get access to it. This video is more informative and more of a warning to let you know, to make sure that you keep your money on the side, keep it in a place that you are actually where it's beneficial and it's not, it's constructive instead of destructive. You wanna place your money in a constructive place. That's gonna be the first thing that you really need to know when it comes to this crashing down and a reset happening. Now, a lot of people don't understand the blockchain. They don't understand cryptocurrency. This is why you need to have money on the side or have it in a very constructive place. When you're able to be able to do that, when the world does crash down, you are able to adapt in any situation when you are placing your money in the right places. Now, this video is part two of the Great Reset. If everybody is watching this video and you're still here to the end and you want a part three, make sure you comment underneath that comment section like share and turn those notification bells on that way you'll be able to see me every single day to be able to give you informative information on exactly what's going on inside the world